Are you thinking about getting your real estate license in North Dakota? Well, if so, this video is for you because I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to get your real estate license. My name is Tyler Royke. I help people build better careers in real estate and what better way to get started in real estate than to get a real estate license because at that point you can help people buy, sell, and invest in real estate. And before you get started with step one, it's important to make sure that you'll meet the requirements to get a license. So first requirement is you'll need to be 18 years of age or older, and then you'll need to have a high school diploma. So as long as you meet those requirements, we can move to step one. And step one is to enroll in a real estate school online. And you're going to need to successfully complete 90 hours of pre-licensing real estate coursework. And if you need a place to get started, I went ahead uh, and pinned a comment below. So there's a link there. There's a course provider that does meet that requirement uh, where you can go ahead and knock that out. And that brings us to step two. Once you've completed your 90 hours is you can submit your North Dakota real estate salesperson application. So alongside your application, you're gonna wanna meet all the requirements they've got on there, including you're going to need to submit a criminal history re record re check request form, and you're going to need to make sure you pay the applicable fees, which there's going to be a $150 application fee that you'll need to pay. And uh, also, North Dakota Real Estate Commission is going to want to run your credit, and that's going to cost you an additional $8. So bottom line is, follow all the instructions on the application, fill it out completely, uh, that way they can get it processed the first time and uh, you know get you on your way there. But then uh, after you've done that, uh, you can move on to step three, which is to submit your fingerprints. So once your initial application is received, you're going to get a fingerprint kit in the mail and you're going to want to complete it and send it back to the North Dakota Real Estate Commission uh, with a check for 4125 made out to the North Dakota Attorney General. And that way they'll be able to process your fingerprints and you can move on to step four, which is to take and pass the real estate licensing exam. So once everything checks out on your credit report and criminal history, uh, you're gonna be emailed a test code uh, in which you can use that to schedule your exam. So you're going to be allowed three and a half hours to complete the exam, which consists of 140 questions between both the state and the national portion of the exam. And you're going to need to achieve 75% or higher on both portions in order to receive a passing score. And there is an exam fee of $131. Uh, so make sure that you spend some time preparing, reviewing your, your notes and uh, summaries from the different sections of the pre-licensing and that you're you know prepared to pass on the first attempt. And once you've taken and passed your exam, you can move on to step five, which is to acquire e &O insurance. So you must have an errors and emissions insurance policy in place before obtaining your active real estate license. Now, depending on where you decide to affiliate your real estate license as far as brokerage goes, they may already have you covered there with a policy uh, that they have as a part of their plan. So I would definitely look into that before you go out and get your own policy, but if need be, you're gonna be able to, to get your own uh, policy in place. And then you can move on to step six, which is to select a brokerage. So, like I mentioned before, you know, the, this kind of goes hand in hand with the prior step, you know, to get that E&O situated, but to be licensed, ultimately you're going to need to first be affiliated with a current and active North Dakota sponsoring broker. And I'm not going to go into details in this video on how to find and select a great brokerage, but I made another video on the channel that I'll include here that walks you through exactly what to look for in a broker, as well as what questions to ask them as you're reviewing your different options out there, because it's ultimately your decision. Just about any brokerage out there is going to want you uh, and want to sponsor your license, because a lot of them are in the business of taking on agents uh, but it's important that you, you find the fit that's most in alignment with your goals uh, so that you can move hard towards your goals uh, you know with the maximum amount of support and resources to help you get there but once you've selected a brokerage you can submit your request for a real estate license so it's a final re license request uh, you know for North Dakota and that includes submitting your North Dakota application uh, to issue your real estate license, you're going to include the E&O insurance document, which, uh, you know, again, might be something that your br broker 
will help you uh, get in place. And then a certificate for pre-licensing education showing that's been done. And then state and national exam scores uh, results, you know, showing that you've met that threshold. So you're effectively submitting all the documentation to show you've met the requirements and, you know, following all the instructions on the application. And then you're going to have, a, you know, something for your sponsoring broker to sign off on there as well. So once you submit that and get it all finalized, they'll process it. And as long as you've met all the requirements to receive your license, uh, you'll be receiving that. And effectively, once you have your license active and affiliated with the brokerage, then you are going to be able to start taking on clients and helping people with their real estate needs. Now, that brings us to the final step, which is important not to forget, and it's CE, your continuing education. So the requirement in North Dakota is nine hours every year. So you have nine hours of continuing education coursework to, to complete in order to keep your license in active status and effectively meet the renewal period. So make sure that you do that uh, and do it ahead of schedule. The last thing you wanna have happen is go through everything it took to get your license only to have it lapsed because you forgot to do nine hours of CE in a year. So uh, as long as you have that done, then you will be all set to go. So now that you know exactly how to get your real estate license in North Dakota, there's only one question that remains. Are you going to get after it? If so, hit that subscribe button so that I may continue to share more tips with you on the road ahead. And if you haven't done so already, check out the pinned comment below where I've included some links and resources to help you through the licensing process. And if you got value out of the video, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.